And for the first time, the Mercury 9 has power from the base, not from my bench power supply. Okay? And everything seems to be working. All the yellow LEDs are bouncing around and blinking like they're supposed to. The engines are running. The cabin lights are working. Yep. Spotlights are working. Everything's working. C-130 spotlights working. Everything's working. Somehow a Hummer stayed there while I was moving the base around. <laughs> Alright, I need to get this building mounted up and a few other things done real quick. And then once that's done, all the electrical's done at this point. Oh, except for this thing keeps... I don't know why it does that. I have to tap it to get it to work. And I haven't wanted to mess with it. Okay? But all the electrical's done at this point in time. All I have left now are vehicles and accessories, and this is done. I'll be back in a bit. Well, she's attached to the base now. This building is in place. I got a little too much super glue on it when I put it down, so I'll have to fix that, but it's not anything unfixable. Just a little bit of this color paint and some flat paint, and I can spray it on there fairly well, or just brush it. Um, the cable actually routes through this gantry, and I made a slight mistake. This gantry is a little too close to the model, so there's some stress in the parts. There's not going to be a stress on the parts that hold the cable to the gantry, just on this arm of the gantry right here. Okay, because it's not at a good angle. But all in all, this thing is about assembled. I disturbed my fence a little bit. I need to fix my groundwork a teeny bit. I will agree with Nelly on that, but that's just a few minutes worth of time. And i got to fix some bright spots over here, but that's just with the airbrush in a few minutes. So what's lacking now? People, I want to put some benches there. There, now we know it's on film. People, benches and getting the Hummers and the helicopters done. The Sea Stallion, oh, it's in bad shape. It got beat up pretty bad over the last few days. So I'm probably gonna build a different one of the helicopters. And well, this is the box that has them. So I could build a Seahawk, a Sea Knight, the Cobras are too small, an Osprey, or another Super C Stallion, because I have two of them. And I don't know if I'm going to do the Super C Stallion. I, since I got some time, I'm probably going to do an Osprey. That's what I originally wanted to put there. Okay. And I have kind of a surprise. This is science fiction, right? Now, what do all sci good science fiction films have in common? Oh, don't tell me they have vanished. That would be my luck. All good science fiction films of this nature usually have some sort of monster or beast or something. Why else would you build a big huge rocket but to save the world from? Oh, someone got in here and took them. I had made a whole bunch of worms for this thing. I was going to have poking out of the ground. And the worms look good and they're not here anymore. I mean, they're just gone. They were right. Oh, one of them survived. Here's one of them. Okay, and just have them poking out of the ground and a tank rolling over to shoot it. Nelly doesn't think I should do it, and I'm trying to decide if I should. So, if I can find the other ones, that's the weakest of the worms. I don't know where the other ones went. There's the Honda interior almost done. I'll come back and deal with it later. But this guy, he's in bad shape. His nose piece is missing. It looks like a four-year-old did the windows on it. I'd rather start over and do it right. I could just repaint it, but it'll look like I repainted it. So, we'll see what I do. It didn't take me that long to build it. The, the models from this company are actually really nice for the scale. Got to redo the stop signs, too. But that just takes a few minutes. I'm going to go downstairs and talk to Nelly and BB real quick. And I'll come back in a bit. Bye. Hey everyone. Here's the completed power um umbilical going into the Mercury 9. I have to touch up the paint a little bit on this part right here. 
because it didn't actually paint up correctly. But that end right here, that only takes a few seconds. That's really not a big issue. Okay, I think it might need a little bit of paint here, and that might be a big issue because I have to route some paper through here. I have to mask off this cable. Yeah. But I'm about to do the stop signs. I already showed you the stop signs once, but something happened to them, and I have to redo them. So I'm going to redo the stop signs. I'm also going to patch up some of this groundwork because it's wearing away with a little bit of time. The groundwork I did over there is all fine because I used a different type of glue than I did here. So the type of glue in your groundwork really makes a difference. Um, I'm using Micro Crystal Clear right now, and that stuff works great. The stuff I used here was an Elmer's product, and it does not work great. All right, be back in a little bit to show you what I've done. This is the standard look of John these days while I'm doing detail work because I can see very, very fine detail with the reading glasses paired with the Optivisor. Okay, and I need that when I'm doing a stop sign that is the size of one of my beard hairs. Literally. I don't know if you guys can actually read that, but it does say stop. And once that glue is set up, that goes on the Mercury 9. Now i got to make one more of those. Okay, I showed this earlier and something happened to those stop signs. Luckily, I make spares when I'm scratch building. I usually make two or three extras. So I had plenty of the materials to reconstruct another one of these with. Okay? And yeah, it does say stop. And yes, it's pretty much in scale. It's not quite centered. So I'm going to have to get her centered up on there. And i got one more to make. So I'm going to get at it. And then once they're cured up, they go on the diorama. And then I can do people and boxes and airplanes. And I want to make a couple of park benches. The benches won't take anything. I'm just going to take an L-shaped plastic beam, cut it to size. I've got one that's in scale with the people. Okay. And just in case you're wondering how big the people are, let me set this stop sign down. And I'll show you one of the peoples. Because they're stuck on some sticky blue tape here. And there's one of the peoples. And there's two more of them. These are resin figures in 135th scale. <laughs> I don't remember whose channel I was looking at the other day, but I found them. They're on a website called La Arsenal. Um, it's a French company and mainly does ship stuff, and they make resin 1350 scale figures who are not flat and two dimensional. So I got them. Painting those is going to be quite fun, I think. But that's what these are for, right? Painting 1350 figures? All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, everybody. I decided I did not like the Sea Stallion, it was too beat up over the, over the last year. And I build an Osprey. These little uh, helicopters that came in this marine aircraft kit, this 1350 marine aircraft kit, are nice. They're well detailed, but the seams are a devil on them. And tiny, tiny little fiddly parts. This thing, if I look at the direction, and this is the direction sheet here, has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen parts. This little guy has fourteen parts. All right. Again, they're well detailed. They're just tiny, and I lost two of the parts to one of these Osprey, and I'm not happy with it. I just don't know where one of the parts went. The other one, the carp carpet monster eight, carpet monster eight, the companion two, but I could replicate that tube right there pretty easily. But the other one's missing is this, and I couldn't. There's no way to replicate that. There's only one of them on the sprue. Anyhow, I'm gonna go put the landing gear on this guy and get him painted up, so that I can get him on the Mercury Nine. And again, I just didn't like the Sea Stallion. Here, let me show you why. There's a couple of reasons why. One, parts are missing from it. I don't know where they went. They're just not there anymore. Two paint job on him just it was never good I was rushing this near the end of the contest and I just didn't do a good job on it I don't have to rush this time because well I have very little left to do with this model kit 
very little left and it's done and I've got till Friday to finish it so <laughs> isn't going to be an issue all I got left after this is putting the vehicles on the place painting the people and if I feel like making a few little tiny things here and there we're good the other thing stop signs are set up now so I can put the stop sign up on the Mercury 9 now. I can go ahead and put this in place. So I'm going to paint this guy first and then I'm going to put the stop signs in place on the Mercury 9. And then all that's left is putting the vehicles down and the people and making a few benches here and there. Okay? So I'm going to get at it. I'll be back in a bit. All right. Here we go. Let's see if this camera can do it because I tried it with the still camera. It refused to focus on this. And this one, not much different. I'm going to have to get the uh, SLR. You can't really, you can't, I can read it from where I'm standing, but this camera's having a hard time reading it. There's a stop sign there. I turn on the lighting. I did get the Mercury 9 powered up and connected. I think I've detailed that, and there's the connection cable. And the other stop sign is right there and again the camera is going to be like I am not focusing on that tiny little thing you can see it just fine right there okay there's a little couple of little stop signs on this thing up next are vehicles and people the Osprey is here and I have a little bit of sanding to do to it just a little bit and another coat of paint and it'll be done yeah, and I have to fix one thing which bothers me, which is going to destroy some of the paint, but that's okay. I thought I had it straightened up, and then, hmm. Yeah, it's straightened up that way. This way it's not. This way it's straight. It's got to slide back a little bit, so the stabilizer on the, stabilizer on the right side has got to slide back a little bit. It won't take me too long to fix that. Another coat of paint, and I can detail out the windows on that. And it'll be done. Decal it and it'll be done. And a little bit of sanding. I got a couple of spots of sand. And this thing's near done. I've already got all the tanks and everything done. I just want to get the Osprey built. Just out of curiosity, since I'm going to have to sand it and this paint is dry. That's what it's going to look like on the helipad. I think it's going to look better than the Sea Stallion sitting there. Okay? It's going to give it more of a sci-fi feel and that's the idea. All right, I'll be back later.